Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, this is going to be the two the two variable version of the Taylor series. Okay, so if you see the previous um, one variable version, it's pretty much the same definition. Except now, we since we're dealing with two variables, we will need to use methods applied towards um, partial differential equations. Okay, so we need PDEs. So notice by the Taylor expansion for a given function, it's approximated to at the point f a b. And it's a series of derivatives here. So the first derivative here, first derivative at the point y, the second derivative at xx, second at yy, and there's two actually. So that's why there's no half, since it's applied at x and then y twice and y and x. Summing x and y and y and x is the same as doing it twice. That's why we don't put a half in front. Okay, so question is now, how do we solve this? Just like the previous one. So again, it's all about replacing variables and I think the best way to do this is looking at an example. Okay, so let's consider an example. So I'm gonna take one directly from one of ESEG's papers. ESEG uh, suggested that we look at X size 3.27 and this one is based on, let's check it out guys. Aha, uh -huh. so this is just maths two. Okay, so what's the question exactly? So what we have to do is that we're given a function of x, x, y, and this equals log x, y, x plus y. Okay, so we can actually simplify this directly using the method, using the properties of logs. This would turn out to be log x plus log y. And because it's on the bottom line, this would be the minus log x plus y. Okay, so this is no way to do it. Now to differentiate this using partial derivatives, it'll be very straightforward. Okay, so let me just put this on the top page. And what we're going to do is we're going to calculate f, the first derivative with respect to x, the second, the first partial derivative with respect to y, the second partial derivative xx, fyy, and fxy or f y x since they both give you the same result okay so let's let's do this right now guys and start replacing okay we're back so let's take the first derivative the first partial derivative with respect to x so notice that y will be the constant here so taking the derivative of log x would be 1 over x minus taking the derivative of x plus y so taking the derivative inside is just 1 and this would be x plus y underneath so that's how you differentiate logs you differentiate inside you put in the top line and then you divide it by what's inside. <coughs> That's easy way to do it. Now, same thing. Let's do a derivative of partial derivative with respect to y. This is a constant, so we have zero. This log y would be one over y minus, and same thing here, one over x plus y. Okay, that's two down, and we got three more to go. So now, now we're going to calculate the partial derivative of x x so differentiate x twice so we're going to differentiate this term now respect to x okay so okay so this would be differentiate one of x would give you minus one over x squared differentiate this one as well would give will yield one over x plus y squared remember y is a constant so it's just like x plus one or something same again, but for y, y now, so the version this respect to y would give you minus 1 over y squared. And of course, I expect the same thing, 1 over x plus y, just based on the way it's written. And finally, we can choose which one. I prefer to do x, y, because it's just, you know, I ain't got no preferences, but it just looks nicer. So now that means I'll have to differentiate this expression with respect to y. If I was to do that, what would we get? Well... 1 over x is a constant in this case, so that's 0. That means all we're doing is differentiating minus 1 over x plus y. And this would give us, same like the rest, plus 1 over x plus y squared. Aha, uh -huh. and that's it. I guess we're done at this point. Okay, so now what we have to do is replace all of these values are given points. So the question according to the exam was to do this up to the second degree, which we did, about the point one one. So in another case, we need to replace these values with x is one, y is one. 
and when it comes to the Taylor series, we replace A with 1 and B with 1. So it's actually quite straightforward. So now let's just do it fast here, okay? So replacing everything by 1, 1, what will this one give you? F dash 1, 1 will give you, so 1 here be 1 minus 1 over 1 plus 1. So this is half, 1 minus half is half. F y prime 1 1 again 1 minus half is half. Mm -hmm. Let's see now this one f x x prime 1 1. What do we have here? So 1 over 1 squared, so minus 1 plus 1 over 2 squared, 1 over 4. So minus 1 plus a quarter is minus 3 over. Four. Okay, so hopefully I'm getting this one right. <laughs> FYY, one, one. So what would this one give you? The same thing, minus three over four, just by symmetry here. Yeah? And lastly, this one, the final expression, what would this one give you? So this would give you, doo -doo -doo. let me see. So one over one plus one squared, one over, so what's a quarter? Okay, and that's it. Now all you do is pop this into the Taylor series expansion. So again, I'm going to clean this board and do it from the top because I'm out of spaces again. Hold up. Okay, here we are. So I just put everything on the top line. Okay, so now using the Taylor series expansion to actually solve this about the point one one. Let's do this. Copy this to the formula words. If you recall, it was F A. So ah, uh, the one thing I didn't put actually was a point at this, the function itself at point one one. So at function itself point one one, this would be log one is zero, log one is zero, so minus log two. Okay, so now using the definition, it's going to be, so let me just quickly pop it here. And here it is. So here's the Taylor series definition. Instead of writing f prime x bracket one one, I just defined this at point one one. So this would be half, this would be half and so on. So yeah, let's just replace this and simplify this to get our final result. So we can say, therefore, the function approximates to, so at the point one, one, we get minus log two plus f prime x would be half x minus one plus f y prime would be again half y minus one. So remember, I put one here because at, this was a and this was b, so then they're both one, one. Okay, next one would be plus so i can just factorize this part half so f prime xx would be minus three over four x minus one squared again minus three over four y minus one squared and the last one f x y would be plus one over four x minus one y minus one Plus dot dot dot. And that's it. That's our Taylor series expansion. Hope this helped, guys. And leave a comment below or subscribe and let me know any other problems you want to deal with. Okay? Adios.